So there are times where we have to go backwards, where you're given a probability and you're asked to find the x value that created that probability. In R, we use that, do that using a, um, a Q in front of whatever the distribution is we're dealing with. So let's do one for a normal distribution. Here's an example. A kitten whose weight is in the bottom 10% of the probability distribution of weights is called undernourished. What is the cutoff point for the weight of an undernourished kitten? So one of the things I've noticed is that I want to find a weight. I'm given a probability because I'm given a percentage, and I want to find a weight. So in this case, x was a weight of a kitten, so we want to find um, the x value. So we use a uh, command called q, in this case q norm, because normal distribution is what we're dealing with. Um, back at the top of the problem, this problem has to deal with um, a healthy kitten has an average weight of 24.5 ounces and a standard deviation of 5.25 ounces. So there's my mean and standard deviation, and we were assuming that the random variable was normally distributed. So what we're looking to do, therefore, is find an x value. The Q notation, the Q command, whether it's Q norm or some other distribution you're working with, always needs the area to the left of your value. So in other words, a bottom or the lower values or something less than. So in this case, because we're looking at the bottom 10%, we already have the area to the left. The area to the left is 10%. So all we have to do is go into R and say we want to do a Q norm. Um, 10%, so 0.1, make sure you put it in as a decimal. And then again, we need the mean and standard deviation. So the mean was 24.5, and the standard deviation was 5.25. So 24.5 and 5.25 was the standard deviation. That tells me that a kitten who weighs less than 17 point, let's round this to 8 ounces, is underweight is in the lower 10% and therefore they have an issue. Um, if you don't know the area to the left, you have to find the area to the left first by just subtracting the area you have from 1. Because remember the total area under the normal curve is 100%. So if you knew the area to the right, you just subtract from 1 to get the area to the left.